When you're learning about series and parallel circuits, it can help to have an example of one that is neither, so you know what to look for. The Wheatstone bridge is an example of that. We have five resistors together, and it turns out that none of these are in series or in parallel. Let's see why. In order to be in series, two resistors have to be connected end-to-end -end with no junction in between them. But every single one of these resistors terminates at a junction. R1 has two junctions, R2 has two junctions, R3, R4, R5. Nothing in this circuit is in series. All right, so now let's look for parallel. In order to be in parallel, you have to connect the same two pieces of metal, right? You have to connect to each other at both ends. Now say R1 and R4 connect at this end, but they're separated by this resistor at the far end. So R1 and R4 are not in parallel. Likewise, R2 and R5 are not in parallel. And you can keep going through every pair. Nothing is in parallel in this circuit. So if you actually want to solve this circuit precisely, you would need to use Kirchhoff's laws and define a lot of currents. You'd have to have five different currents, current one, current two, current three, current four, current five, and use the junction rules and the loop rules, and you could eventually figure it all out. Okay, why would you want one of these? It turns out that this is commonly used as an instrument for measuring a resistance. You start out with three resistors that you know very well, like R1, R2, R4. And R2 has to be precisely adjustable. So then you put your unknown here where R5 is, and along R3, you put an ammeter, something that tells you how much current is running through it. And then you adjust R2 carefully until there's no current running through here. If there's no current, then you can imagine removing the wire and then the circuit simplifies. Then you would have two in series, two in series, and the pairs are in parallel. 